welcome back to another Fallout 2 video, and today I am going to be traveling the open world once again in search of Vault 13, because that is where my ancestor was and the Gek. Uh, no, I do not want to encounter a death situation with humans and guns. No way. Nope. Not starting off the video like that. Not doing it. last time I saved over this one uh, recently I guess at the end of last video but I'm going to save over it again and then I go across here Some scorpions hiding in the spore plants. Uh, sure. This will probably end up getting me killed, but whatever. At this point, this series is just trying to find uh, anything. I guess the upgrade to, well, I wouldn't necessarily call it an upgrade, but installing Windows 11 on my computer now as opposed to Windows 10 has apparently made the combat laggy. So, great! Windows 11 fixed the escapist yesterday and it broke Fallout 2. Great! Don't you just love that? I know I do. Okay, that died on my third attack. And is that... Yes, that red scorpion is also dead. Okay, this one in front of me is damaging me a little bit. It's nothing major, though. Why did I say it would be nothing major when it knocks me to the ground? Why, oh why, do I have to say that? Sometimes I feel like I ought to slap myself. Knock down and th that's the third time I've gotten knocked down. I've gotten knocked down three separate times. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. I thought the scorpions would get me. I really thought they would get me, not the freaking, uh... Not the, uh... Spore plants. And I hate to use that, uh... Health. Or that healing powder. But, since I am poisoned, I don't want to die. So I'm just being safe and using it right now. Okay, it missed that time. And now Sulik will assist in trying to help me out, but there's still one scorpion up there. It's not aggroed, but 
It's still a thing. That will end off my turn. Just finish it off, Zulik. get up here and punch it in the... Oh, doesn't have a face, but I missed it anyway, so... Like I've said before, I kind of wish my character could take these four plants from behind and rip them out of the ground. But I realize that that's not exactly a thing that's uh, feasible. So... Mm, I don't want to take that scorpion on. No, I'm not going to. Okay, 755 experience for killing those enemies. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely love this. You feel a little better. You take damage from poison. You feel a little better. You take damage from poison. You feel a little better. You take damage from poison. You gain one perception. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's that's funny to me. Did I save right here? No, I did not. I was distracted by the funny wall of text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Have I mentioned how much I love this game? I, I really do love this game. But I would like it better if I could actually find the freaking vault that I want to find. Vault 13. God, I just want to find it or a gag. though how close am I to leveling up uh pit boy doesn't do it for me uh yes it's at this screen oh 9240 and then I need to get up to 10,000 experience so I have uh, 760 to go. So if I kill the same amount of enemies that I just killed, I would almost level up. I would be five short. But with the outdoors skill, It's still going. It's still going. It was way up. I thought that I gained some experience from the outdoors earlier. I thought that that happened. But... I guess I was wrong, or it couldn't display it, or maybe that was last video and I'm remembering something that happened a couple weeks ago. All three 
things are very likely. I just want to say that. Yes. Golden geckos, yes. I'm not too worried about golden geckos. It's fire geckos, the one I'm worried about. Those things will... Is that a grave, by chance? Hmm. Anyway... Oh, gosh. Sulik better help me and take some of the attention off of me. So that I actually survive, and that these enemies don't get replaced with something far more dangerous next time I try to come through this area. Sulik did really help out. Apparently. I love this. Gecko was critically hit for 12 hit points, knocking the stuffing out of it. Yet, no wonder that Gecko is lying there. Just laid down like it's paralyzed on the ground. Jesus, I'm going to die. This brings up an interesting thought that I have had over the years. When I've played video games and that thought just crossed my mind again. I have not attempted a playthrough where I tried to go through it without dying once. The Wasteland has claimed your life. Arroyo attempts to send out others to search for the Gek, but they die quickly, and the village soon follows. And it's games like this where I can imagine it would be very hard for me to survive and not die. I mean, I bet that if I played a game enough, I could do it, but... To a certain extent, I feel like it could take the fun out of the game. And that being that whenever you do die, you would have to restart your entire playthrough, which in turn might make a person burnt out on a great game because they would have to make sure to not die and it would be so punishing for when they do die that it might turn them off to the game. It might burn them out to the game, so... A couple pig rats won't be anything. Then again, I think that uh, dogs won't be that big of a challenge, or um, what's it? Uh, oh shoot, I've already forgotten. But there's something else, maybe besides dogs or only dogs, that I have said will not be a challenge whatsoever, and yet. They were a huge challenge, and they killed me several times over. So I don't know. I, I really don't know. And I don't know how many experience points I will get from this either. But given the fact that I'm 760 points away, I would practically say that any experience points are good experience points. Because I want to level up and get the stonewall perk. I might have to wait a, a level 
after I level up. So I might have to level up twice to get said Stonewall perk. But regardless, it will still make still make me feel good. But yeah, that's another 260 experience. So I'm uh, 500 away. Yes. I said 760, so I should have 9,500 experience. If I'm remembering it correctly. Yes. Yes. I am radiated, though. accidentally clicked on eye damage. I, for some reason, thought that it was related to radiation. I was gonna be like, wait, getting hit in the eye? No, it's just radiated. I'm just ready to find this vault, man. That's, that's all I really want right now in this game. If I didn't get another experience point for the rest of the game, but I found the vault and I was able to get a Gek, I would be very happy. I would be happy even if I didn't get a single experience point for the rest of the game. But, it looks like I will get to get more experience points if I survive. This is the largest group of support plants I've come across. But, I am going to take on the challenge. And hopefully get 500 experience points. I'll probably get in the 3 or 400 range, even though if two mutated pig rats and a rat are 260 experience points. I'm sure this will be over 500. But I'm not a classic. Well, I'm not a top down Fallout nerd. I'm more of a Fallout New Vegas nerd, where I know more about that game than Fallout 1 and 2, but. I know a little bit when it comes to Fallout 1 and 2, though. And in terms of 3... <sighs> I know more about it than if I went into it totally blind, and Fallout 4 with the whole new mechanics... Uh... I don't know. I have no idea. I've hardly played it. And... I play it rarely enough that it is hard for me to remember the mechanics that I do use whenever I do play it. And Fallout 76, uh, never heard of her. doesn't even exist, man. But since I'm on the topic, for what it's worth, Fallout 3 is a good game. Now, it doesn't necessarily fit the typical role of a Fallout game, but it does have some nice RPG elements to it. And so, as an RPG, it's good. As a Fallout game, it just doesn't 
quite feel like a Fallout game to me. In the sense that 1 and 2 and New Vegas do. And I haven't played enough of 4 yet, but I doubt it. If I have to use a stem pack, I will. I will, actually. Ooh, nice kick. hitting its other spore plant, uh, I guess friend, I guess plants can be friends, the spore plant just killed the other spore plant, talk about friendly fire, oh my god, about me at Arroyo, of course, you should be like there. Uh, Klamath, I'm like there as well. Yeah, that's, uh... <sighs> Vault City thinks I'm up to no good right now. And by the way, uh, since I was mentioning other Fallout games as I sometimes do in uh, playing this game. I think I mentioned it playing Fallout 1 too, but well, not this specific thing, but uh, the some of the aspects in the newer Fallout games, but I really like the way this karma system works. This karma system works uh, it, you have a positive, negative, or neutral stance with the particular cities as opposed to the whole commonwealth. Well, the commonwealth is Fallout 4, as opposed to the whole, uh, Washington DC and metro area in Fallout 3 where it's overall for that whole uh, world so you could do horrible things in Boulder City for example but if you donate to Professor Cromwell in uh, or Cromwell in Megaton a whole bunch then you're going to be like throughout the wasteland. And from a uh, from 
from a role-playing perspective, it also makes a lot more sense because the way I imagine it is like there's a uh, like a dungeon master up there kind of watching you and so you can imagine it like Dungeons and Dragons and how there's a dungeon master world where the person will say uh, like oh this person admires or believes your lies due to your smooth talking because the dungeon master would know that that is a skill of yours and that you rolled for it and that you rolled good enough for it. And so I can imagine that dungeon master would be like, oh, well, since you've committed these acts, Arroyo likes you now, or Modoc likes you now. But, uh, Yeah, because why would the people in Klamath that would like you, why would that affect the people in Modoc? That doesn't make any sense to me. So, that's why I like the karma system better in this game than I do in Fallout 3. That's the way I see it, anyway. You might see it a completely different way. I might be totally insane. But, either way, I'm going to end off today's video. And, see us, guys! I do believe that that will do it for this Fallout 2 video. And, until the next Fallout 2 video, I will see you later. Goodbye, guys! Thank you all for watching.